Hello there and welcome to 5 top tips for studying at home delivered by the University of Derby skills team. So in this short video I'm going to be discussing ways that you can effectively study outside of the classroom to both beat procrastination and get yourself some better grades. So our first top tip is to prepare your study space. So make sure that you have the equipment around you that you need to study. So get yourself the equipment, get yourself your pens, your books, anything and keep it within arm's reach so you don't have to get up and procrastinate. Get yourself a drink and any snacks that you eat while studying and try and find yourself a quiet and comfortable space to do your work. If you can, use a desk and try and avoid using your bed to study. Creating a study space is really useful in beating procrastination. So our second top tip is to create a study timetable as this can really help you stay focused and give yourself some purpose and achievable goals in your day. So to do this, you can create a to-do list. So for example, using Google Keep, and you can tick off the things that you need to do during that day. I have an overall one, which I find really useful for planning my time and giving myself daily goals. However, you can have one just for the individual day. A second thing that you can do is using this to-do list is to plan your time into a calendar. I would recommend trying to work out how long you think that task will take you and then giving yourself about an extra 25%. I would recommend using a normal working day pattern for your work, but also trying to set this, this around when you're most productive. But also ensure that you have other time in your day when you aren't studying. This other time can be used to take regular breaks. So I would recommend taking regular breaks, to exercise, to stretch regularly, and to get away from the screen. So t when you're on these breaks, try to take a walk somewhere, or just find a way of avoiding screen time. To give your eyes a break. I often use breaks to check in with other friends and classmates, and to see how they're doing and to have a conversation. Another thing you can do is rewarding yourself for various points of progress by giving yourself a break. You can do this on a time basis, or you can do this on a, I've done this, and now I will take a break. But put these into your planning and put these into your calendar so that you know that you have enough breaks throughout the day. And try and take a break probably every once in every hour. And try and take a break when it suits you. This depends on the individual person. So take a break when you feel that you need one. So our fourth tip is to try and learn how to use the e-resources. So get your head around your search engines that you need to find resources. Get your, get your head around Teams, learn how to use Blackboard Collaborate and other t software that you need to use. So I would recommend checking out the Enhance Your Learning Calendar, which will be linked in the description of this video to find out on some training sessions for online search engines and to have find training from your academic librarians. There is also training about skills and other things that can help you with your academic study. Probably the biggest piece of advice that I can give you is about removing distractions. So for example, turning your phone off can help avoid you getting distracted by notifications, taking away your games console or anything that you use to watch Netflix, taking that away and making sure that you can't get distracted by it is really important because that's the best way to beat procrastination. Also, other things that can make you procrastinate are other people. So tell your friends, tell your family members if you are going to study and they are a distraction, that you're studying, potentially shut your door, put up a sign, or just let them know so that you can then concentrate with your study without getting distracted by them. In addition to those tips, there are also further resources that can help you. In the description of this video, there's a link to our skills guide for work-life balance that can be of assistance and there's going to be a podcast in the description as well that can help you get organised and get yourself ready for studying from home. So check that out, that's full of student advice and student voices, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.